So today we're going to have a look at the registers in the Intel x86 architecture. And basically what a register is, is a piece of memory that's located on the processor that the, which the processor can use to read and write values to with greater speeds than if it were to do it in memory. So right now I'm going to run debug and run the R command. And you would see the list of registers, the state of the registers at that moment. And what may seem to you like a bunch of letters now would make sense to you at the end of this video. So the AX register stands for the accumulator is used for arithmetic operations because the engineers from Intel optimized certain instructions such that if they were used in conjunction with the AX registers they would take up less space and therefore run with run with a greater speed. The BX register is, uh, is the base register and is used for addressing memory which I will explain in a future video. The CX register stands for the counter and it's used to count off how many bytes are needed to copy from copy data from one location to another or copy data from memory to disk or basically loops, which I will discuss in future videos as well. The DX register is used to point to data and as in as with the case as in the case of the Hello World program, it pointed to the Hello World string. Uh, the SP and the BP registers all correspond respectively stands for the stack pointer and the base pointer and I'll discuss and I'll discuss what these registers mean in the future video when I'm discussing the stack. The SI and DI register stands for the source index and the destination index and these are useful for copying strings from one location to another. The DS, ES, SS, and CS registers are all segment registers, and I'll explain to you what a segment is in a future video when I'm discussing memory. The DS and ES registers are just referencing data, usually referencing are usually refer referencing data, and the SS are used in conjunction with the SP and BP to indicate where the stack is in memory. The CS and IP registers are the most important registers I believe because they tell where the processor should start reading code from. And these bunch of uh, letters right here are part of the flag regi flags register and they denote the op they denote the result of a previous instruction so that for example if I had an add instruction and I add a really large number into a register this NC NC flag right here becomes the CF flag because if I add a really large number there's going to be a carry in that operation. So if you notice the X's in these registers you could split these registers into two so that AX become AH and AL and BX becomes BH and BL and CX becomes CH and CL and so on and so forth. And these these registers are actually 16 bits, but when you split them into halves, but they become 8 bits long. So hopefully I've covered the basics of registers here. <laughs>